The paint that you want to use is a bare masonry stucco and brick paint. This is breathable, so it will definitely withstand the elements. So this is not even two hours later. I ran out of paint, uh, but this is the result. Okay, so if you're ever considering painting uh, your brick of the house, you could do it yourself. Save yourself two, three thousand dollars. The paint that you want to use is a bare masonry stucco and brick paint. This is breathable, so it will definitely uh, withstand the elements outside. It is warranted for 25 years. This is the previous color that we painted. Now this is the color that we painted on the back. This is a charcoal. I decided to go a little in between so it's a little lighter than this one uh, just because I wanted it to stand out a little less. So there really isn't much to painting. Uh, you could get yourself a little better quality roller. I found that the foam rollers are the best because they actually go and dip inside these creases here. Now, you could start off simply by going on the inside like this with a big brush. Uh, I've been using two layers, but if you have a really good brush, then you could get away with only doing one. The problem is, is if the brick has chips in it or grooves like that simply doing a roller is not gonna work so that's when you're gonna have to dab it in to the creases and then once it's dry only then you're gonna see if you missed any see even though it looks like it's done it really isn't so that should be sort of your first thing to do uh, but of course you can always just skip this step and go right into the roller and then finish up the details after which is kind of the way I like to do it. And it's actually quite a fast, fast project to do this. Uh, it's the details that are gonna take you a long time. So uh, this obviously is not gonna be showcasing the entire painting of the house. It's just to sort of get you guys started, just to show you how quickly this could be done. So honestly, within minutes, you're gonna start noticing the difference here. All right, so already you can see the difference. Now I hope this, this will di dry a little darker. I'm gonna show you the comparison between the charcoal gray and this other sort of a dark gray. But uh, anyways, let's keep going. guys so this is not even two hours later I ran out of paint uh, but this is the result before and after so if you want to do it yourself I'm here to tell you that it's actually very easy to do it just make sure you get the right paint thanks for watching if you have any questions leave it in the comments and I'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.